Guys, we have picked up two, not one, but two junkyard engines for $200. That's $100 a piece. I'm gonna show you guys why we need that, what happened to the old engine, coming up next. Welcome back to the garage guys. Thanks for tuning in. If I seem a little out of it, it's because I've been a little under the weather the past couple of days, but we're starting to feel a little better. So back to work we go. So here is our old engine. We're gonna call this engine Lucky because it's lucky it lived as long as it did. I finally got all the lifters out of it. I don't have any kind of cylinder wall issues that I can find, but I did find two lifters completely destroying themselves. Now the cam lobes don't look good either, but they're not like wiped out. So I know that's an issue and it was about to be a bigger issue, but not the reason I had bad compression. Now, if you remember, I had the combustion chamber sitting upright and I filled the combustion chamber and looked for fluid to run out. Well, that's maybe not the best way to test this. So what I have done since then is learn to spray, brake clean in the runner and see if it seeps out. It literally runs right past those valves. So I have valve seating issues. I've never had these heads apart. So I'm figuring either A, I've got bent valves or B, it's just flat wore out. So with that said, I see no point in trying to fix these heads. It's not worth the money when I can buy engines this cheap. So what I've got right here is a 93, say F350 engine. Don't know the mileage. All I know is that it ran, may have smoked a little bit. This on the other hand, was a good running 97 engine out of an F350 that somebody let it get low on oil and something tried to escape from the oil pan. So what I wanna do first is take this 93 engine all the way apart so I can see what the internals look like, see how much of this I can salvage and how much of it we're throwing away. Since this is all just repetitive wrench turning, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of time lapse and show the breakdown on these engines. Kinda of looks cooler that way, I think. get this thing a little bit apart we decided to call it quits where we're at you can see by the uh, crust level here this thing's pretty sick it's got a lot of crud built up it may run and it may have some good parts but I'm gonna go ahead and just pull the iron manifolds off and set it aside for storage next we're gonna open that up and see what kind of carnage we have in that bottom end so there's some clumps coming out of the oil pan and some pretty serious dents but I'm just hoping a piston didn't come up and hit these heads and these heads are salvageable still. So thanks to some help from SVT Kevin, we got the other big block out of the truck and we got the cylinder head off of it already. We've definitely got some water in cylinder seven. We took a close look at the valve. No, this ain't the valve, what is this? The piston. And uh, there's indentions there from piston to valve contact. So it's definitely got some issues. The block may or may not be any good. I don't really care about that. I'm worried about these heads. So since I really don't have an engine I could just drop in the Miata, I had to come up with a plan B. Now there's two important things you gotta know about plan B. One is you need to know what my requirements are. I'm not looking to build a race engine here. The other thing is you need to know what I'm working with because I'll be honest with you, it ain't much. So as far as the engine itself, this engine only needs to run for about two and a half to three minutes tops. It's gonna be doing that at the mechanical limits though. Wide open throttle, 850 Holly with the HEI with all the timing I can get into it. So it's probably gonna blow, but that's fine because we're building a $500 engine. So this is the original engine out of the Miata, not the 1.8, but the first 7.5. It's got some miles, but it does have fresh rings and bearings. We've got our 93 engine over here. It's got some miles and it's got some miles. And then we've got our 97 that's had some uh, rapid deconstruction, but it's got a rebuildable set of cylinder heads. So I've got a lot to think over and I could definitely use some help from you guys. So if you got any thoughts or suggestions, put them in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.